Hi all, uh, welcome back to our Skyrim Let's Play Path of Balthazar the Great. That's him right here. Yeah, um, I would like to first of all apologize for last week. Only three videos went up last week, uh, three sim videos, but uh, because yeah, I was uh, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you saw what's there, what what's up there is, you might have guessed what kind of new mod I've got in. Yeah, but still back to the subject. I would like to apologize because I was a bit under the weather. I, uh, I've uh, had some issues with something that, uh, yeah, I don't want to show on camera. I'm to, that's why I'm trying to cover up my neck here. But yeah, uh, it is uh, going much, much better. Uh, yeah, so I'm back in the swing of things. I'm A OK. Maybe got a little bit of sniffles, but what the hell? OK, let me just. I forgot my. <laughs> uh, my, my microphone is still down here in front of me. <laughs> oh, my God. oh yeah, still haven't uh, been able to fix that thing yet. Oh yeah, <coughs> sorry about that. I'm just ah, there we go. Sit all uh, sit comfortably here. Okay, we uh, are here at uh, uh, Shrine of Ashura uh, because we have done. Um, the first quest in order to get the Star of Ashura. I think we have it already, don't we? We have it in our inventory here. Let's see here. Let's go up here and S-T-A-R. Yeah, the Broken Ashura Star. We got that. So now we need to uh, unbreak it, meaning we need to fix it. And the only way we can do that is with the Goddess or Daedric Prince, uh, Prince uh, Princess, yeah, here who's uh, made in the first place. Azura Star. I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. Here, take it. I will commune with Azura. Okay, as she communes with Azura. Azura, mother of roses, goddess of dusk and dawn. Your chosen champion has returned your star to you. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands on the altar, and you will hear her voice. Okay, sweet. Uh, I know this that people seem to always say the same things. And people complain about me. Uh, gee, I wonder why, uh, Sophia. Yeah. Okay, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a background on Ashura's star. Um... We had a choice between two people to give it to. One is where I've given to it now, making it the white Azure Star, meaning that only creatures and animals' uh, souls can be implemented in it. We could also have given it to another guy um, in uh, white, no, in winter, no, where the heck is that now? Here, uh, in Winterhold. Where the college is uh, to that uh, to a guy there, which made it the black Azure Star, meaning that only people and uh, uh, bad guys and stuff like that's soul essence could get in it. But since I want to uh, have it a, a pure Azure uh, Star, which actually gives the most power, because people uh, people souls are pretty powerful. But a, a mammoth soul is the power, most powerful of all, and a giant, even a giant, is not a person per se, so a giant soul can also be trapped inside the star. The star is a soul gem in essence, but can be reused over and over and over. Normal soul gems get used up, so let's get on with it. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malan Varan. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Hmm... Is there a way to cleanse the star? Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. Yeah, that's true. 
No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. Whoa, you what? will banish Malin's soul there. Okay. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. Cool. Okay, yeah. Um, you know what? Let's just jump right into it. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Okay, as soon as we get inside the star here, I'm going to... Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting... Hey, so, uh, Serena's... Hungry. Hello, Sophia's with me in here. Lord. Why? There's something different about you. This experiment of yours is over. You can't escape your fate, Valen. Malin. And, and who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. Blast, Mister. Okay, cool. Uh, I got fire blast there, and I got ice forms there. Take. Okay. Damn. Those guys were a little bit more powerful than I expected. Oh shit. Azura Star. I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for. Okay. Hand it over to me. Be right back. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its. I will commune with Azura. Mother of Roses, Goddess of the Lord, your chosen champion has returned your star. She wishes to speak to you. Concerned. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malan Varan. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. 
Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting... Why? There's something different. And who are you? This is... Come on! This is my realm. I won't let you take it from me! Yeah, sorry about that, and we are back, and I'm trying to uh, do a new thing here. Okay, about that. Items, potions, types, go, health increased, no, ah, extreme healing, yeah, bam, also, where is my special, there we go, this is the one. Okay. And do I have a potion of fire protection of any kind? These are not no nope. let me see here. Cold resist, cold resist. There we go. Fire resist. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. Whoa. And I don't think that will help. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands on the altar. Uh. We will hear her voice. Greetings, mortal. You have followed right my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malan Varan. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight <coughs> and rescued my star from Malan Varan. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Why? There's some... And who are you? 
This is my realm. This is my realm. I won't let you take it from me. Wow, wow, wow. Whoa. Like the bite of a flea. What? Shirana, what the fuck are you doing, bitch? Uh, yeah. Drox again. Yeah. Type. There we go. That one. Uh. That one, and that one. Need some magicka potions for fuck's sake. No one crosses me. Yeah, he's down there somewhere. I had hope for something else. Um Do you have something to say? Are you saying you don't trust me? Yeah. Fair point, actually. I wouldn't trust me. Okay. Yeah, I can have this battle axe. There we go. That should be enough. Okay, then. There we go. Uh oh. Ah, oh, yeah. Stamina, of course. <laughs> Maybe I can snipe him with a lance. a bit stupid.
can't hide from me. Okay, ice form. Fire blast. Three. I know you can hear me. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return. In all my years, I've never planet. seen such a thing. My star has been restored, and Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. Sweet. You have done well, mortal. Yay. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Thank you, Lady Ashura. Farewell, mortal. Know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight. While you were in the star, Azura gave me a vision. Her last, she said. I have never been without Azura's foresight since escaping Morrowind. I don't know what to do. If you need me, I'd be honored to accompany you, Guardian of the Star. It would give me a purpose. Thank you, Arana. Twilight, watch over you, Guardian. So sure isn't giving you any more visions. So. Until next time, Guardian. Yeah. Yes? Is it because you're scared what I might do with it? Yeah, something like that. Okay, we got that. And we also got a staff of sparks, apparently. And what kind of... We got some clothing, right? A glass armor. Oh, nice! Spellbinder's runic boots. Hmm. Heavy. Huh. Heavy. Witch plate curse. God damn. Look at the runes on the shoulders. Look. Well, um, yeah. Now that you have seen these spellbinders runic boots which and uh, the uh, the witch's curse which looks almost like normal uh, plate mail but with the runes on it you're probably wondering what the hell is going on well I that is the new mod a little chat yeah thank you that is the new mod that I have installed I'm all ears is it because you're scared what I might do with it I have installed immersive armors which is a <laughs> which is uh, not saying at least is a huge mod oh my god I'm carrying so much weight glass armor yeah no wait only seven whoa uh, I think it's these yeah Okay, wait, 9. And this one, wait, 38, yeah, bam. I'm here, if you ever need me. Okay, cool. Now we should have a sure star. And we do. Oh, look at this thing, it's beautiful! This will uh, definitely aid me in my uh, uh, enchantment skills and stuff like that. Ooh, there's a... Dragon head up there. I'm uh, I'm debating with myself, me myself and I, if I should install the um, the weather mod, uh, immersive weathers and stuff like that, so I, uh, you can actually be cold and st stuff like that. It could be cool. For example, up here, I'm. You're up here. 
the wind is blowing, it is freezing as fuck, yet I don't seem to give a fuck. So yeah, uh, I might install that mod as well, just so we get some more, a little bit more of a gameplay, so it's not the, so it's a bit harder for me to, yeah, instead of me being a complete goddamn badass and don't care about the weather and stuff, and yeah, so yeah, also maybe, what do you think about Hunger Mod and uh, some other uh, more realistic type mods so I need to sleep and stuff in order to get uh, to get rested and get the more power out of my uh, magic spells and stuff like that yeah uh, I will leave all that up to you um, about the hunger mods and stuff like that but I'm thinking of doing the weather mod uh, so I can uh, so uh, I can even th freeze and stuff like that let me see where's the best whoa this way to just do the mountain climbing here. No, it is this way. I'm, whoa, I remember. I remember it, yeah. It is this way up. How you doing, Foxy? It's Foxy Love. Yeah, this is the way. And the dragon is right up here. Yep, yeah, he's right there. You see, you see the wing? Let me just... Sorry. See the ring? What there? Oh, there he is. It's the whole... His whole body is right there. Okay. Cool about this spell is, damn, she can hit with those things. Whoa, damn, he took up fast. Let us go into items here. Let me just let us drink a couple of. Whoa, thank you. Took a couple of mana potions here. Where are you? What are you doing up there? Get back down here, you stupid lizard! Uh. What the? Suspended animation. Hmm. Oh well. Sometimes that happens, actually. The dragon just flies off and starts attacking something else, and we lose interest and it doesn't come back. Ooh! Ice form. Nice! That's the second... That's the second part of my uh, ice thingy, right? It is! Ah, nice. Nice. Okay, there should be a chest around here somewhere. Okay, we got a... Hmm. There you are!
Oh, I love a challenge, but I guess you have to do though. <laughs> Lol. Oh yeah, by the way, as I was uh, just trying to explain, with these spells I have here, um, I don't have to like uh, aim in front of it to hit it like a ball that flies and then it has to hit the other thing. Like she's uh, uh, doing. Oh nice, she's heating up the blade. Sweet. You, oh, it should be arriving any minute now. Come on, you stupid dragon, where are you? Let's go up that way. Yeah, um, these spells, as, as, as long as I have him in my target or in my sight, uh, in the crosshairs here, I will always hit him, no matter if he flies off or anything. Because it's like an instant, uh, instant uh, hit. Here we go! Huh. Where the bloody fuck hole did that dragon go? Ah, for fuck's sake. But this down here seems promising. It looks like fun. Let's see if I can snipe this guy down here. Last mistake! That takes care of that! Nice. Okay, jump down here and over to there. And don't worry about Serana, she is uh, set. She's set to uh, spawn right next to me if I get too far away. But this seems like fun. Here we go! Cutting it. Okay, what do we got? We got one there. Got another one over there. It seems like we got oh, we got one more there and another one there. you doing? Oh, missed. Headshot. That takes care of that. Okay. See you downstairs. Stormcloak guys. Oh, that's pretty, that's okay with me because I'm with the uh, I'm with the other ones. Um, what are you doing down here with all of these stormcloaks nuts? Huh. Oh well. Fort Custom. I think I know this place. 
Let's go in and have a look, shall we? <laughs> Cheese and coffee mates. I do believe I sure like the idea of crouching down behind you. If you dare let one go, then you could forget me helping you. Shut up, Sophia. Yeah, I don't know why you're even talking. I might just have to do when I gain some levels, maybe um gain some more in stamina because this sucks that I can't go invisible for a longer period of time hey you there have a fireball A spicy meatball. I'm pretty sure I am with. I'm not with Stormcloaks, guys. I'm pretty sure I am with the uh, the Legion, right? Because I have a house and so. Yeah, I am. I am with the Legion. So why does it say steel? We're, su we're supposed to be at war here. Ah, well, screw it. I'm not getting bounty, so yeah, I'm doing the right thing. Apparently. Oh, look at the shield. Nice. Uh, wait, 12. Yeah, we can just carry it. Yeah. Hey! Thank you. Okay. Well, well. Yeah, we have reached the old wrapping up point, but uh, yeah, let's just go in to see the, what the prison has to offer. Um, I think that was the prison. Yeah. So let's go up here, then. Ooh, captain's quarters. Yay. Ooh. The pet is so to me. Nice. Stealth. They'll either be dead or with significantly less gold before they know what's hit them. Oh, sorry. Hmm, where is the captain anyway? Now I'm caring too much. An elven bow. Hell yeah. I thought you wanted to play this the sneaky way. Yes? Did you want something? Are you saying you don't trust me? Fair point, actually. I wouldn't trust me. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I know I gave her that one. That doesn't matter. I rather enjoyed a little chat. Oh, cool. I enjoyed too. So, yeah. Um, I think we are done here. Let us uh, head to Solitude. 
and uh, yeah get all of our things that we what? that we want to sell in our oh that's the wrong place sell to there we go in our uh, market stall and we will call it for this episode <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, cracking knuckles, yes. Don't do that at home, kids. Lovely to see the kids running around, playing. But they're not playing with my dog. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, Sophia, would you please? Thank you. I'm all ears. I like your cloak there, oh, Sophia. Not literally, of course. Is it because you're scared what I might do with it? Yeah. Take all. In all my years, I've never I'm seen such a thing. It. Okay. That one. Sit marketing. Yeah. There. Weapons. Warmer mace. Okay, that one I'm going to see if I can't. This in chance. This one too. This one too. This one too. The helper. Hell yeah. The arrows. This one, these, hmm, yeah, why the hell not? Arrows, great sword, that one, ancient Nordic helmet, hmm, yeah, let's just sell that one. Boots, got a lot of boots. Cloak of the Necromancer, hmm, yeah. Let's sell those. Circlet, yeah, elven armor. This is an elven gilded armor. Armor 56. Armor 38, yeah. Glass armor, definitely gonna keep this. This one I'm gonna keep too because I can probably. Why don't. Why haven't I put that thing on? This one, yeah, let's sell it. Let's sell these. These are. Very good for selling. This one I cannot put on. Sell these ropes. Ring, gonna keep that. Spellbinders boots, heavy, sell. Um, Vermina ropes. Oh yeah, those are the ropes. Yeah. Gonna sell all of them but one. Vampire boots, uh, gonna keep these. This one, heavy, gonna sell this one. Uh, reanimate a very powerful dead body to fight for you for 60 seconds. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna sell this beef. Not gonna sell any of that. Uh, spell books. Electric charge as the eye is there. We have already seen it and read it. This one too. Shift. Nice. Book of the Daedra, Oblivion, yeah. Know all of these. Warrior. Cool. And here. Let's see, we got a couple of bowls we can sell. Okay, Fragment Roof that we definitely got to do, do the rest of that quest. Uh, yeah, because I really want to get rid of these. Heads, oh my god, and the lexicon we also got. And we got a pot, another pot. A watch pot never boils. Uh, fragments, skull, I'm gonna put that up somewhere. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Um. I'm gonna say thank you all so very much for watching. And as always, catch on the flip side.